1989, Wayne Zielinski shrunk his kids. In 1992, he blew it up. I'm Scotty. You're not. Let's talk about Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. I couldn't say I blew them up because there's only one kid. Um, so in this film, taking place three years later, Wayne Zielinski is at it again. He's now working for a company in a different part of California now. It is confirmed they were living in California in the first film. And they still... Because they... I thought they lived in Nevada because they go to... At one point, they go to Vegas in this movie. So I thought... Yeah, but I guess not. Uh, moved to a different neighborhood, got new neighbors. Apparently, the, all the money they made from the first film, they got it... Their house is different... You know, uh, it seems like a more expensive neighborhood. Also, their marriage must have gotten better because now they have another kid named Adam, the youngest kid who was a toddler. Eric's two years old. So, very obviously, by the conclusion of the first film, they must have, you know, gotten together. Nine months later, he was born, and then two years later. This movie takes place three years after the first film, two years after Adam was born. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Uh, although it does bring into question that whole, here's the more dinners with the Zelenskys and the... Uh, Thompsons. Because uh, they're just not mentioned in this film. Uh... Both of the kids are back, although Amy only has a cameo at the beginning of this film. She's going to college. I guess Amy O'Neill. Or not Amy O'Neill. Amy on? Amy is the character's name. Whatever. It's the actress who plays Amy wasn't available, which is why they have Carrie Russell come in as the female lead halfway through the film. I mean, she makes a appearance at the beginning of the film, sort of, when Nick is the horror at cafe trying to uh, look cool before Wayne shows up in this in the van that's powered by uh, solar power. Yeah, kind of get a name. Uh, and uh, yeah, so Amy goes off to college, and her mom is taking her there. So she's out of the picture at the beginning of the movie. And Wayne is now working for this new tech company whose manager, Mr. Dr. Hendrickson, played by John Shea, who's a great Lex Luthor. Uh, and he's a good villain here, too. He's almost too good. He's, oh, he's a terrible person, but a great villain. It's, it's one of those situations where Wayne has done something by accident that is going to benefit, could benefit mankind. Well, now, you know, uh, you know, and this company has taken it. And basically what we've seen from this Hendrickson is that, uh, because at one point, Wayne, he figures out that Wayne clearly grew something. And so he's basically now just shutting them out. Like, no, you're no longer part of this project. You're out. Because he's realized he's actually grew something. So I'm going to find what that is. I'm going to claim it for myself. And I'm going to get all this, this, uh, 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 celebrity, you know, the fame for myself, basically, is what it is, what this guy is doing. Um, yeah. Uh, but, of course, what he's actually grown up, grown, is his two-year-old son, uh, Adam, who can't speak words yet. I mean, I know, by two, you, he speaks some words, but not fluent sentences. By two, you usually do, don't you? Although, could say that Adam might be on the spectrum. Who knows? Uh, this was in 92, when... It was still kind of new. I mean, when I was born, they didn't have premature clothes yet. I had to wear cabbage patchy clothes. So they, when I was born, they clearly weren't prepared. By 92, five years later, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. My sister was normal. She's the only one born normal. My brother and I were both C-section. He was big. I was small. She's just 
right there in the middle. Although I think she's actually a little bit shorter than me. I think. I don't know. But my point is, I don't know what my point is, but anyway. Um, yeah, my point was that Adam's not speaking yet. Not full sentences. And sometimes it takes longer. My son was at least a year and a half when he started speaking. Well, he was speaking sort of things. I don't know about sentences. Maybe he was close to... Maybe he was around two when he started speaking sentences. Maybe he's just getting close to it. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, so... He uses some kind of... Thing. So, it's established later in the film, not in the beginning, that this machine they're using is not the machine from the first film. Because it's confusing at first. They don't explain that. They said, oh, well, he can shrink things just fine, but it's having problems growing them back up, you know, making them big again. And I'm like, wait, that wasn't that big of a problem at the end of the first film, and now they're having problems with it. But he figures out how to do it, and he shrinks the bunny and grows it back. But Adam happens to be there. Was he trying to grow the bunny? doesn't shrink it, you're trying to grow, I don't know about it, but anyway, and it's always affected, and they find out later that it's microwave, electricity, electrowave, whatever, that's making him grow, he's sitting next to the microwave, it goes off, he's in front of the TV, he grows, he goes by power lines, he grows, and so eventually he ends up going to Vegas, which is like, oh no, he's gonna get bigger, uh, and the bunny gets bigger too, because he's long for the ride, uh, and, because the bunny was hit with it. Um, and so, like I said, the, the mom, uh, Diane, she's not around when this happens. And they, they go pulling their driver and like, don't worry, we'll figure it out before your mom gets home. She's already home. And so he's like, backs up, takes off, and then goes back down. So, oh, I, uh, something went wrong. I went in reverse. So he tries to make up, you know. What I like is this security guard, Smitty. When they first go in, he's like, oh, I'm just coming to check some stuff. And he's like, okay. And uh, it's the uh, the guy from Gremlins. I thought it was the uh, Bassmasters guy from Ghostbusters 2. But no, it's Bass. It's the the uh, smokeless ashtray guy from Gremlins is who it is. Uh, <clears throat> nice little cameo. Couple of times you get him here, and then uh, as he goes to leave, he's like, uh, you know, uh, Dr. Zelensky, uh, you're not you're not clearance to be in there messing with the buttons and this stuff. He's like, oh, no, don't worry, everything's fine, and didn't do anything. And he leaves, and then when they come back, he's like, oh, I forgot my keys. And like, how long was that in the parking lot? And by the time they get in there, Hendrickson's there, and that's when he takes him off the project because at that point he's realized he's grown something, he's enlarged something, and I forgot what it is take for myself, make money off of it. I'm firing him from the project so he can't get any, you know. And so, uh, eventually, Wayne realizes he needs to get his old machine from the storage and he used that to shrink him. So he and Diane go to do that. And uh, previously to this, though, before they realized that the baby's grown, they called the babysitter, which is Carrie Russell's character, and uh, um, she shows up. And I'm sorry, but she's the most adamant babysitter. Like, she was always talking about, I don't want to deal with gross stuff. You know, I, I pay extra for changing the dirty diapers and stuff. So, oh, you just have to watch him. And it's like, well, he is too. So I don't think he'll need diaper change. Might be in pull-ups. There might be potty training him. I don't know. He I think he does say bathroom at some point. So maybe he is potty trained. So there's no diapers, I guess. But she shows up and Nick's like, oh, you know, we, we don't need you anymore. So she's like, I don't think so. I'm getting paid uh, two fifty an hour plus uh, more if anything nasty comes up. And I'm like, excuse me. I understand that you're going to get paid, but you're just, you you got called to watch Kid, 
And now you're being told you don't have to. It was me. I'd be like, okay, that's fine. But she's adamant, and that's when she sees the big kid and passes out. And so Nick ties her up, right? And it's like, she's freaking out. But the baby gets bigger and goes through the wall. And they chase. Do they chase? No, no, they're not chased after him. They're there. But when Wayne and Diane come back, they're blocked from getting in. And the cops are there. And then Hendrickson is there. And, and he's like, Zelensky, you lied to me. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, and he's like, uh, Marshall, uh, put them in custody. For what? Child's endangerment. Blah, 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 blah. All this stuff. And it's like, well, okay. If you're going to have rest in some arrest someone for the stuff that you're saying, which could be true, then it's Wayne, because Wayne's the one that did it, not Diane, but they don't get arrested. And then here comes Clifford, the owner of the company, played by Lloyd Bridges. He's a fantastic actor. I loved him in Airplane. Not so much in Airplane 2, but he comes in, and in the, then the Lloyd Bridges way goes, okay, what the hell's going on here? And you know, Hendrickson's explaining everything. He's kissing his ass. He's being all smoozy. And, you know, he's talking down to Wayne. And I, there's a funny moment where, where uh, Diane's like, excuse me, where did you get off talking to my husband like that? And he's like, Don't, honey, I'll handle it. Where do you get off talking to me like that? I, I, I love those, you know, you know, repeat lying gags. Uh, um, basically, he thinks the Clifford has his side. And he's like, he's like, you know, uh, Wayne's like, you know, America was built on a foundation of people working in their attics, you know, doing stuff. Alexander Graham Bell, and Nick is like, don't proceed to tell me about things like that. I never work with uh, stupid people. I don't intend to start now. Cliff, uh, Hendrickson, yes, sir, you're fired. What? You're fired. Get out of here. Yeah, he fires him, and so he works with Wayne to try to shrink Adam. Here's the problem, though. Adam is now really huge. He's, like, looking 20 feet, 50 feet tall by now. And by the time they get to him, he's in Vegas. Now, they've established he isn't like the word nap. Very much they established it. So when they're trying to talk him down with the big bunny, trying to get him to go to sleep, Wayne says... You want to take a nice long nap. That doesn't make any sense to me. Because he knows that word is going to instantly trigger him to freak out. So why would you say it? It only serves to lengthen out the runtime. Now they can't get him to get to sleep. And he's not, the baby's not accepting anyone's authority because they're all smaller than him. Right? And at this point, he has Nick and the babysitter... In a toy car with a toy Indian in his pocket in the front. Wait, pocket in the front. <laughs> and so they're there, and there are people over like, eh, you know, uh, maybe the car's already in there. He's like, oh, toys, and picks them up, puts them in, because he's broken out of this thing that the government was, the government was going to take him, just like Wayne says, he goes, you remember, uh, we told, we asked you kids not to say anything about how you got shrunk? You know why? Because they'll do experiments on you. And that's what Hendrickson wanted to do. So Hendrickson, having been fired, decides, hey, I'm going to go to the military, and I'm going to get in a freaking helicopter, I'm going to get a freaking tranquilizer dart gun, and I'm going to shoot this baby. With a dart, but it's still shooting a baby. I mean, or a toddler. There, there are, there's a difference. Toddler, baby. Toddler literally can walk around. Toddles. You know what I mean? But... Yeah, like, yeah, he's, so we get to Vegas, and what was established by him playing with Nick's guitar, uh, he grabs the ho Hollywood, the rock, Hard Rock Hotel guitar, and this is when Hamilton shows up and shoots the dart into the helicopter, into the, into the helicopter, into the Guitar shocking at him. And he's like, eh. shouldn't that have made him grow though? If the electricity hits him, should it have make him grow again? They've said electricity makes him grow. Shouldn't that have made him grow again? 
I don't know. But uh, then Wayne's idea is to make Diane grow so that she can have her uh, authority over him again. Eventually, this gets him to hold still so Wayne and Clifford can shrink him down. And at the end, their hair is all messed up. It looks like uh, Lloyd Bridges is back in airplane and he's picked the wrong day to stop sniffing glue. You know? Looks like I picked the wrong day to stop sniffing glue. His hair is all... You know? Uh, that's what it reminded me of. I'm like, Lloyd Bridges looked like he picked the... The wrong day to stop sniffing glue right now. Here's all, and then I realized Wayne's hair was like that too. It must have been the machine. Now he has to use this little broken Coke bottle to suppress it. So there, there must he must still be going on. I need something to uh, make it cool down so it's not as hot. Again, no. Could you, could you just tamper with the mechanism so we don't have to do that? I don't know. And it seems like. Like, the prototype should have been what they were using, not a new one. You know what I mean? But I guess, you know. And this is certainly more 90s than the first one. It wasn't really 80s, to be honest. It was the late 80s. This is 92. That was when 90s started having identities. It was really 90s. But, yeah. And there's a giant ass bunny. But Nick and the babysitter fell out. And they're still... So they're, they got shrunk. And then they fell out of his pocket. So they're still shrunk. But they're having a little bit of romantic time. So they're going to... Time, and yet yeah, uh, Diane punches Hendrickson for shooting at the baby. Uh, what I don't like is when they're grown up, they slow down their voices. Daddy, it wouldn't do that. Why? Make them sound deeper, maybe, but not. Even the even Diane's like not so fast. I'm like, why is it slowed down? They're Giant, not in slow motion. I don't know. Overall, though, that last movie was good. I'm going to say it's pretty, 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 pretty good. It's another one that I've... I think I've watched the original more than this, because that's the one I had on physical media, at, up to this point, at least. But it's still a good one. I remember it was on a lot of the movie channels. Not Disney, but, like, movie channels, like uh, HBO Family, stuff like that. And I used to watch it on there. You know, it's a good movie. I think I, th I think it's a decent sequel, follow up. Now, I don't think I'll be saying the same thing about the next one because I have, I have issues. I have issues. I had issues when I first watched it when it came out in two thousand three, eleven years <clears throat> after the previous film. So, yeah, we'll get to that. Uh, by the way, we don't see Amy anymore <laughs> after. The beginning. She goes to college and then it's just maybe mentioned a couple more times and that's it. In fact, I don't think we even see her room in the house. We see Nick's room and Adam's got a little playpen thing. Oh, I should mention the effects. There are some decent effects in this. Like when you have a giant Adam walking behind, you know, uh, Nick and Wayne, it looks good. And then there's some other times like a shot. When they're sitting in the car, that the composite shot they did it still doesn't look well. Some giant stuff, some uh, set design, really good. Other visual effects sometimes not so much, but it is the night. Give it a break. But uh, so, what is your, what are your thoughts on Honey I Blew Up the Kid? Don't comment, don't share, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm Scotty, and I'll see you in the next one.